Okay. Hi, brothers and sisters. This is, um, I wanted to show you something. You know, today is the day of salvation. We are on the cusp for the rapture, for the tribulation. I mean, you have no idea what is being planned behind our backs but i tell you god knows you can't hide from god though many people think that they can they think that you know god doesn't see their sin but he does he sees everything and in this movie these people had to make a choice and this is um, them making a choice. And with the choice that they made, um, death attacked them and, and tore them apart, ripped them apart, literally. And, you know, but that was because they chose God. They chose Jesus and just like today except that we are not in the tribulation hour so therefore there is you know god is merciful and he is gracious and you know the bible says that if you seek him you will find him that if you ask you shall receive and if you knock the door will be opened. You must believe it. Believe it. Don't doubt that God, whether or not God is real. Believe it. You know, Jesus is real. And Jesus is returning. And the rapture is going to happen. Heed these warnings. So... And be baptized. It's also like taking the witness stand to declare the truth of the gospel to all who are present. This is Revelation 9. The abyss is open. They are a cause of torture. See? That guy just was saved and he gave his life to Jesus. He decided and he chose God. Therefore, he died for God. The abyss is open. Look at these fallen angels, these demons. It's not going to be a pretty time, people. Wow, what a movie. And the thing is, this is not just a movie. This is real. It's going to happen, you know? How do you think these people came up with these ideas? Because they are led by the spirits. They were influenced by the spirit. See, 
It is a spiritual world that we live in. God is in control of everything. He will send evil spirits to attack us, or not even to attack, more or less, but to test us, to see where we stand. And he will send good spirits, you know, angels, you know, to protect us and to give us strength and, you know, to help us. And his Holy Spirit, you know, God, the Father, he is in control of everything. And therefore, this movie, it was influenced by the Spirit of God. It's coming. And you need to be ready. You need to be covered with the blood of Jesus Christ. He is the only way. He is the way. He is the truth. He is the life. But to make it to heaven, to get to the Father, Jesus is the only way. Don't listen to what the world and what the news says. Don't listen to Oprah and all these talk show don't follow after man and don't follow after your pastor. Read the Bible. Follow after Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Pray. Talk to him. And you will have a relationship. You will get to know him. And he will get to know you. But like I said, the choice is yours. See, Jesus is a gentleman. He doesn't push himself upon us. He will bring people to plant seeds all throughout our lives. So it's not like he comes in just one time. No, he shows up many times throughout our life and what we choose today can determine where we are destined to be tomorrow and if you choose Jesus Christ then the Holy Spirit will live inside of you he will live inside your heart. He will fill you with the things that are of God. You will be transformed. But do not fear because God has given us power and authority to trample on scorpions and serpents and to cast out evil spirits and demons to bind and to loosen and so that's all I have brothers and sisters time is short it is really short if you you know don't take my word for it okay pray go to your father in prayer get on your knees you know, come before him and fast. Ask him questions and he will show you the answer. Have faith in Jesus' name. I love you all. Goodbye.